G'day and welcome. This is the second of three videos in which I'm demonstrating the speed of integrating using patterns rather than substitution. And the pattern we're looking at in this particular video is the chain rule. That is the inverse of the differentiation chain rule. So if you imagine this is the result of differentiating something, we're going to integrate it and the pattern always is that we have a function to a power I'm going to talk about other functions in just a moment but these are a function to a power and we always need the derivative of the function out the front so it's very simple here's the pattern the derivative of this is 3 so we need to compensate with a third if we want to follow the full pattern as I've described it in a previous video then we need one more than five which is a six out here as well in which case we would compensate with a further sixth this one the derivative oh I didn't mean to have the three this this was ad hoc uh, but the derivative of this is three so you would compensate with a third one more than this is negative one, so we want a negative one here and one over negative one, if you like, to compensate. In other words, we're just playing little games with the coefficients. This one here, I'm actually going to rewrite so you can see the setup. This is 4x plus 3. A power of, uh, a cube root is a power of one third dx. So again, following this kind of pattern, the derivative of 4x plus 3 is 4, so we compensate outside. 1 more than a third is 4 thirds, 3 quarters, nearly didn't invert it. And now we're ready to integrate each one. So this one would be 1 over 18, times, and this is a pure integral now, and it's going to be 3x plus 4 to the power 6. This one is going to be negative one third, and this now is a pure form, a complete form, so it's going to be 3x minus 1 to the minus 1, which if we tidied it up, if we tidied this one up, it would be 3x plus 4 to the 6th power over 18. If we tidied this one up, we'd probably write, uh, that was silly of me, 1 over, because a negative index puts it on the bottom, 3 lots of 3x minus 1 plus c. And this one would be 3 on 16. And the, this again is a complete form, 4x plus 3 to the power 4 thirds plus c, which if we wrote in radical form or third form, would look like this. It would have 16 on the bottom, 3 out the front, and we have a cube root of this to the fourth power. So cube root of 4x plus 3 to the power 4. So there you go. There are three uh, integrals done with functions to a power. I'm now going to demonstrate some, demonstrate some with trigonometric functions and exponentials and uh, 1 over x which becomes logarithms. So let's have a look at those. Well, here are three more questions that I've gleaned from a textbook. Uh, again, we're looking for a pattern where we have a function inside a function and the derivative of this function out the front. Now, the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x, so I make my adjustment. And that now is a nice, complete uh, expression. Here we have a function inside a function and the derivative of 6x is 6. The derivative of cosine is negative, negative sine, so I compensate by putting a negative one here and a negative one there. 
and now we're ready to integrate. So we have one half, and this here, the integral of sine, oh, I didn't think about the sine. Um, we need a negative sign here and there to compensate because we need minus sign or negative sign to integrate to get a cosine. There it is. So the derivative of cosine of x squared plus 1 is negative sine x squared plus 1 times 2x. This one is now in complete form, so we have 1 sixth. The integral of this is tan of 6x. The integral of sec squared is tan of whatever's inside. Here we have a negative sign out the front, and this is a complete integral, and it's the integral of e. Plus c because the integral of an exponential is itself. And when it's in the chain rule form, you always check with a quick derivative. Derivative of e to the cosine of x is itself multiplied by the derivative of the function inside, which will be negative sine x. There we go. Let's have a look at the next batch, which will nudge in. Well, we've got an exponential here. We'll have a... Well, let's see what we've got. Well, we're almost finished. I hope you're getting the idea that playing with the coefficients can allow you to develop a pattern that makes the integral very, very much easier. This one, for example, I would move the... I'll do it in two steps here. I'd move the two outside. And then I'd ask myself, what is... Since I have a function inside the... As, a, as part of the exponential. I'd ask myself what the derivative of that was, and the derivative of 3x plus 4 is 3, so I would require it there and compensate on the outside of the integral for it, because a third of 3 is 1. I'm not sure whether I'm explaining too much, I'm just trusting you've looked at the other video. Um, this now is in a complete form, so we have two-thirds e to the 3x plus 4 plus c. And that's our integral, because that is exactly the derivative of this. The next one, we ask ourselves, we have a function over a function, which makes a suspicion that we're going to get a logarithm. If we take the derivative of the bottom, we get 2x squared, which is very similar to this, 3x squared rather, so I want a 3 there, and a third out the front. This now is exactly what we want. So the result is 1 third. And this is our logarithmic function of x cubed plus 2. And correctly speaking, there it is. This one here, the derivative of x squared plus minus 2x is x, 2x minus 2, which is exactly twice this. So again... All I've got to do is that, and my integral is going to be one half, that's on the outside, and this now is an exact logarithm. Log of x squared minus 2x plus c. So hopefully you can see the speed with which you can do this without recourse to substitution. It's a simple pattern looking for a function and its derivative, function, derivative, uh, function up here and its derivative out there. And as long as you can, as long as you can uh, manipulate those constants at the front, you can perform the integrals very quickly. I've got one slightly more complicated uh, function or two to show you, and uh, that will be the end of this video. So let's have a look at it or them. I can't remember now. Let's have a look. Well, there were two to go. The top one I found in a book, the second one is mine. I mentioned in one of my videos. But let's look at the top one. If we had to do this, notice that tan to the fifth x is really tan of x all to the fifth power. 
why don't you write it like that so it's a bit more obvious to us. So this is the function inside the function. It's like an x to the power of 5, only it's actually tan x. And the derivative of tan x is 6 squared x. This, in fact, needs no adjustment, except that since we're dealing with a power as well, we expect to have a number 1 bigger than this out the front. So if I put it there and compensate, now that is the complete form. If you remember the video, it will be n f dash x, f of x to the n minus 1. It's one of those six forms we learned, and this will give you 1 sixth tan the 6x six plus c. How quick was that? This one here is a little more problematic. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can do it integrating by parts, uh, but also you might notice that we have, similarly to this, a power of a trig function, and the derivative of sine x is in fact cos x. Now, we'd probably prefer it written down at the front there. Let's do that. And what else do we require since we have a power to deal with? We would like one more than that out the front. Sorry, I should be back to my black ink. And now we've got the pattern. We have n, f dash x, f of x to the n minus 1. And now we can integrate. It's 1 over 24 times sine to the 24x plus c. And we could just write that as sine to the 24x on 24 plus c. So in fact, it was a nice, sweet form. That's it. It just requires recognising the six patterns and practising until you can uh, use them swiftly. But I think you'll agree that being able to solve them in one step or two or three steps at high speed is very possible using this method. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a comment and I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Watch out for the next video where we discuss integration by parts. And I thank you for watching.